I just got back from the nursery and uh, I bought some primrose and uh, a few hyacinth bulbs because I'd like to make an arrangement here. So I have this container here made of metal and wood but I'd like to probably line it with plastic because if I water the plants that I'd like to put here it might go through the slits here so I'll probably line it I'll try to line it with plastic or probably seal it with the silicon I have to check on that I think I have a basket in the attic lined with some plastic that I can also use it's just so cold and dark outside and I, I just need some colors okay guys <laughs> let me go get my basket from the attic and then I'll start arranging the plants here this is a basket a wicker that I uh, bought in one of the uh, nurseries many years ago and it's lined with plastic I would like to put some primrose here but I want to elevate it a little because it's too low so I will just use the uh, lava granules over here of course I could also use something else but this is here right now so I'll just use that one I can always reuse it again so these are really beautiful primrose they are double petaled I don't know what kind, it's a Primula Queen. I found some decorations here that I uh, always keep. <laughs> These are moss sheets. So I can just cover the plastic pot and position it here. This is just a round glass container where, where I put some lava granules here. I have a glass orb here from the garden. So I can just position it here and I think it fits well. The colors are just fitting very well together. I have some dried you know, baby's breath in pink. And I have a few moss balls. And this is just a uh, glass container that I use for decorations. Just put it here. And I have a purple candle. And I'd like to go get some moss outside so I can just position this so it will not be dancing around. So these are some moss from the garden that I just took with a knife. I just put it here around the candle. I think that's it. It's uh, very fast, very easy. I just use up what I have. And I guess I can put that out tomorrow morning. 
and I can start with the other one. So I'll just line this up with some plastic. And then just arrange the uh, primrose. These are granite pieces, rest pieces that my husband made for me just to put pot on top or something to elevate it a little. So I can use this here. And use some glass containers because I'd really like to just put the hyacinth in there. So I'll just put some moss also around it. I should have bought another hyacinth or another primrose, but it's too late now. So I just went to get some succulents from outside from one of my pots and just try to fill up the gap here. Okay, that should do it. And I have this beautiful candle here, this handmade candle that was gifted to me by a very good friend. And I sometimes light it up and sometimes I just keep it. And I think it fits the color here right now. So guys, it's really very simple, it's very fast. And it looks good, I think. So I'll think about the plastic pots, what I can cover it with, and then I'll show you. This, this is a felt that came with a bouquet from a good friend of mine. So it fits the color, I think. So I can just uh, cut some pieces to cover the plastic pots. And I also have some of these crocheted yarn that also goes with this uh, color. Okay guys, I'm done with my simple arrangement here and I only spent 15 euros. I already had the candle, I already had the tray and all the uh, other decorations I used. So I only bought the um, primroses and the hyacinth. Okay guys, this is also done and I will be putting this outside on the table, close to the entrance. These felt birds are actually egg warmers that I'm just using as decorations here right now. And that's the glass orb from the garden. Some dried baby's breath in pink and uh, three primroses that will eventually put out more blooms and I put some moss around the candle just to support it
I hope you like it and see you again next time. Bye now.